There has never been an intellectual threat to these people. There is now, though. Oh, is there now. I told you people the day this happened. I said, and Mike Parrott and I talked about this the evening that it was announced. I said that, Mike, an audience, and we talked about this, we have a signal event that can actually change the course of history has just occurred. And no one's going to see it through this lens. Very few people, maybe me, a few others, maybe Eric Sammons of Crisis Magazine, and a few others. Parrot and I talked about this, and I think Parrot agrees. When Trump selected J.D. Vance... He set in motion a chain of events that actually for the first time, maybe since <laughs> St. King Louis IX, events in Christendom could actually work out and play in our favor. Vance, as I said that day, to me, and I know you people, they're conspiracy nuts there's a Rothschild behind every tree. I know, I know. He's controlled opposition. Go ahead, dude. Just stick your head in the sand and spare the rest of us your nonsense. Vance is the real deal. Vance can think. Vance is an intellect. Vance has good, solid formation. Vance can think logically. Vance can even think in real time and correct error, real important error. And you're like, no, that's not correct. This J.D. Vance guy, maybe they're trying to get rid of Trump now because they really need to, they have to prevent Vance from advancing. Now, some of you are going to be like, come on, T.J., you don't really believe this. I'm turning this crap off. I'm like, J.D. Vance, isn't it? No, you're not looking at it properly. And you obviously haven't been paying attention to the man when he is out there speaking. This is one minute and 45 seconds. Maggie, you need to... Bookmark this one. Put it in your bookmarks. Don't lose it because we're going to come back to it. This is how you answer the question when you get hit upside the head with, well, our secular gang has got millions. We're the, we're the Philistine army. We outnumber you, little David. We got so many. We got this and we got that endorsement. We got this money and we're going to fundraise you and we're going to do this and we're going to do that. When you get hit upside the head with, well, Mr. Smarty Pants, Mr. Look Like Trump Man, Taylor Swift, she's going to swing the election for Kamala. She has 295 million geniuses that love her on Instagram. And they're all going to go donate and vote for her now, and you're going to lose. Uh, this is how a real intellectual, that actually can put it in every man's terms, this is how a real intellectual answers that question and then just takes the microphone from the interviewer's hand, grabs it, and drops it. I, I mean, I, I think there are a lot of issues that have been talked about lately that don't really matter all that much. <laughs> um, we, you know, we can guess what some of them are. Um, but it was interesting last night that Taylor Swift gave her endorsement of Harris and, and Waltz um, right after. She has 283 million followers on Instagram. And I'm sure that someone brought to your attention that she signed it, childless cat lady. This is a phrase that you are going to hear in your, in your uh, dreams and your nightmares probably for many years to come. How do you speak to women voters um, who obviously they uh, they care about what she thinks. Of course. Well, look, we we admire Taylor Swift's music, but I don't think most Americans, whether they like her music or fans of hers or not, are going to be influenced by a billionaire celebrity who I think is fundamentally disconnected from the interests uh, and, and and the problems of most Americans. Look, when grocery prices go up by 20 percent, it hurts most Americans. It doesn't hurt Taylor Swift. When housing prices become unaffordable, it doesn't affect Taylor Swift or any other billionaire. It does affect middle class Americans all over our country. And so I think our pitch to women voters 
voters is very simple. Donald Trump delivered policies that lowered the prices of groceries, lowered the prices of housing, and most importantly, Donald Trump delivered public safety in our country. You know, I've got three little kids. I want my kids to grow up in a country where it, the neighborhoods are safe enough, the streets are safe enough for them to make mistakes and not have it take their life. You've got little kids who are doing drugs laced with fentanyl. 20 years ago, you smoke a joint, you get yelled at by your parents. Today, you smoke a joint, it's laced with fentanyl, and it might take a teenager's life. I don't want that for my family. I don't think most women want that for their neighborhoods and their families. And our argument is elect Donald Trump will re-deliver the public safety that's been so lacking in this country the last three years. I, I mean, folks, <laughs> Mike Trump, walk away. Turn the television off. Turn the radio off. It's over. And just, bleh, just, <laughs> it just answers the question. And by the way, I, I didn't mean to imply that Martha McCallum is the enemy of any sort or that uh, she was just doing the job of asking a question about Taylor Swift. Uh, that is just brilliant at work there. Well, you know what? I don't think people actually care about this stuff. You know, it, 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 isn't this just... It's kind of a microcosm of where we are, isn't it? J.D. Vance just gave an answer, answer that has substance to it. There's, there, there was a, there was a, it was a kitschy question about a pop icon. And are you worried that, 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 the, that the Swifties, my daughters are Swifties, <laughs> okay? My 26-year-old daughters went to go see her in New York. They're Swifties. I know Swifties. Uh, I don't want Swifties running the world. And no, I don't want my daughters running the world. Uh, I want my daughters to be good wives and good mothers and good daughters and good neighbors and good Christians. I don't want to run in the world. <laughs> the question was kind of kitschy, but it also is like, well, you know, what are you going to do? You're, you're, it's you against 283 million followers on Instagram now. Well, I don't know that the people on Instagram actually run the uh, country and they actually run the show here. And I don't know that the people on Instagram also, uh, I, I think that they have to buy food. I mean, the answer basically was, what, so you got a woman out there that uh, prances about as a proud childless cat lady. Because you know what, she signed the endorsement, proud childless cat lady. I don't think in 20 years when you've never married, haven't had any children, and now that your career is owing and no, over and no one gives a rat's ass about whatever record that you put out 15, 20 years ago, and that you're no one now, and you're just an aged 50-some-year-old childless cat woman, I don't think you're going to be so braggadocious about your plot in life. I think you're going to get hooked on some sort of, uh, of an, uh, 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 an anti-anxiety pill of some sort because your life is going to be miserable because you mocked and made fun of what God created you to exist as on this earth. A mother, a nurturer, and a wife. Now, it is true that you can join a religious order, if you will, and you can also serve God, true. And I hope many, many people listening, or many women or young ladies right now, uh, maybe your daughters that are listening, would they consider that? We need contemplatives out there praying because <laughs> we got a lot of problems around here. But that answer is absolutely spot freaking on. That's exactly how you answer the question. Um, uh, and it's answered in a way, he communicated and communicates it in a way. It, it's not high prose. You don't need to sit there with a thesaurus or a dictionary. It makes common sense. At the end of the day, great philosophy. People think that philosophers are just going to, you know, the thinker, Robin's Ro 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 thinker. Just, 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 I am thinking hard, and I'm thinking hard, and don't disturb me because I'm thinking really hard. Re really hard. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get to it. I'm thinking really hard. I'm going to use some really big words. As Brother Andre Marie or Brother Francis Maloof or anyone that teaches philosophy of Pedenis or decent uh, Thomistic philosophy, and Brother Andre certainly does at Catholicism.org, will tell you it's not supposed to be complicated and hard. It's common sense. It, it literally is. Solid, liquid, gas. 
the real world, which is why good philosophy is based in what? Logic. And then what? The earth, natural order, cosmology, if you will. J.D. Vance has that gift, dude. He's going to go a long way. And if he keeps doing that, believe me, he'll become a bigger enemy than Trump ever was.